Hey everybody, did you know you can go to ColinMullen.com in order to get art and art prints? That's why I set up the website, ColinMullen.com. So this week was a lot for me, for a lot of personal reasons that I don't really want to get into and I don't really need to get into. And so as a result, like I said, you know, you put yourself into your work and, you know, I didn't have the time to put myself into this work this week. So, uh sort of making excuses this is not the best painting i've ever done i wanted to try something else i've been listening to this book called blood meridian it's by the guy who did the road it's kind of standard fare form um really gritty really dark um the protagonists are not good people they're they're you know <laughs> it's a it's a book but anyway there's a bit where they're talking about how uh there are lavender shadows on the the sands of the dunes it's set in cowboy times and i'm like you know what that's a really like pretty color. I really like it when I see that. That is a thing, uh, at least down here. Just sometimes the shadows look more purple. And I'm like, okay, let me use purple and you know yellow to be able to get that vibe. Uh, green would be the complementary color, but it just it wouldn't look right. I tried pushing a little bit more orange. Maybe I could go the opposite way with it and it just was bad. So I ended up going with this yellow and I'm just overall not super pleased with this. It's cubism. Um, and and it's a guitar and a skull. Um, it's fine. There are better paintings. Anyway, let's talk about this week's thing. So because this week was kind of rough and I couldn't think of what to talk about, I decided to Google like art things or whatever. Um, I do this from time to time when I'm just like absolutely confused on what to talk about. And it turns out that people still are questioning whether or not graffiti is art or not. And just like, I, uh, um, okay. Let's put it this way. So when you do a drawing, like pencil and paper, your your thing that you're doing the art on, your substrate, is the paper, and your tool is a pencil, right? If you steal the paper and the pencil, and you make beautiful art with it, you make art with it, that is still considered art by, like, everyone. Similarly, when I do, you know, my paintings, I'm doing it on canvas, you know, cloth. And, you know, I'm doing it with acrylic paint, which is like a plastic, basically. Like, so plastic on canvas is acceptable, as is oil on canvas. You know, either, you know, seed or what have you. Uh, watercolor is acceptable. The, the substrate does not matter. And if I were to steal any and all of those tools, I think people would still consider the final product a, you know, art, right? So it seems like to me then that the substrate doesn't matter. The thing you're doing the art on does not matter. The tool you use seems to not matter because again, you can use a pencil, you can use a brush, you can use uh, mud, you can use uh, clay. You could use a lot of different things in order to make art. So that's not an issue. And then finally, the legality of being able to perform the art, like, you know, not having the legal ownership of the thing that you're doing the art on, is also somehow not important. And so then the question becomes, well, okay, so if the tool's not important, the thing you're doing on it important is not important, and the legality of it is not important, then I don't know. Um, I have literally no idea why people think that if something is illegal, therefore it's not art. Um, and, and people will make maybe exceptions for like prettier art. Uh, and, and I will say like stuff where it's just like some dude's name and that's all the, the graffiti is. Like, is that art? I mean, it's typography. If typography is art, then that would be art. Is it something that I particularly am interested in? Is that something that like I think that people should be doing? No, I don't particularly care for it. It looks bad, it, just whatever. But, might have done it. All this is to say, if you think that something not being legal or not is determines whether or not it can be beautiful, I, I am very confused about your worldview. I feel like the subject, the, the literal location where a piece of art is stored is part of the context of what it is. Museums hire curators not just to pull art out and put it on the walls, but to also put art 
in a group. It may not just be necessarily the artist, you know, just this one artist and we just have a collection of their stuff. It could also just be a situation where it's like, we want to show off all of these different pieces of art and contextually, you'll see one piece of art and then another piece of art and you haven't stopped thinking about one before you get to the other and they kind of mash together in sort of a theme. And so I feel like that framing of where it is is important to also the quality of it like it, it brings a new angle to what it is and so when you see graffiti out on you know uh, a wall or you know a bridge or whatever its location is also as important as the curator of a museum a, a person who does art who does graffiti is first and foremost picking the frame the the curating their own thing by purely just picking the spot where they do it you know additionally some people seem to imply that you know the illegality of it it completely makes the art not art and to that i say i think that that also provides content or context to the art the graffiti right art graffiti takes some time to make and so the higher quality the more detail the more colors all of that stuff that goes into the piece when you know that it's illegal that if you get caught at any point you will be in trouble you will go to prison you'll have to pay a fine uh whatever you are adding that context to it as well that that the thing you are making this graffiti you're making is important enough to you to be able to, you know, express it in a way that has a severe punishment, more severe than actually the, the crime in my opinion, but again, that's off track. It doesn't matter. The, the fact that there's this time and effort that goes into it, the location that it is being put, and the fact that if they do get caught, they will be punished all lead context to the thing itself. If you take away those elements, it becomes a different art form entirely. It becomes sort of like what I do. It, you know, it's, it's just, again, it would be legal action in a place where I have as much as time as I want on a thing that I own using a tool that I own. It's, it's the same thing once you take those things out, but that context, the stuff that really sets it apart from what I do is what makes graffiti its own special kind of art that I feel like is incredibly important because there are things that are written and things that are done with graffiti that are more are being said that I think are more important than a lot of the stuff that I see in galleries. I see the stuff that is done in graffiti be the purest expression of someone's will and and just shouting out into the universe something that they find important to themselves maybe it is literally just themselves but the times when it's not that's when it's the really cool stuff even if they don't have the ability to, to draw it in the best way that's the stuff that i really care about that that to me I will go look at a thousand pictures of that before I go to a lot of galleries nowadays. Anyway, it's that time of the video where I need to thank the people at the $5 or more uh, tier on patreon.com slash Uh You can join them in the credits here if you want. And uh, yeah, it just makes me happy and makes me able to do this whole thing. So uh, thank you to the following people, starting with my mom and dad. I love you. Thank you, Wap Foo. Thank you, Tofandor. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Skella Corgi. Thank you, Sanja R. Thank you, Reverend Joe. Thank you, Retrograde. Thank you, Mortis. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Las Nevada. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Gala. Thank you, Gabriel Bennett. Thank you, Egg. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Chiptoon Glitch. Thank you, Bungle Paws. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, BD648. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Acrobus. And thank you, Ats! <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I, I feel like this is the coldest take video I've done on this channel. Uh, let me know what you think. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But anyway, I'll talk to you in the next one.
拜。